Hey guys, welcome back to another Asagawa Academy. And so, where we left off, we were talking to PPG. PPG. As long as you're fine, if you need any help with anything, you can rely on me, though. Especially since... The uncertain look crossed his face again. Well, never mind. Are you heading back to the dorms? Um, yes. Nice, me too. We can go together. He pumped his fist into the air. I glanced into the classroom. Maya was still talking to Mimi, looking like she was a <laughs> like she was about to rip the girl's head off. <laughs> she wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Sure, let's go. But as soon we uh, as soon as uh, as soon as we turned to leave the hall, we were interrupted by someone wearing a yellow and gray jacket. The rival's club jacket. My heart stopped. Standing before us was a tall man with cheekbones like no tomorrow. I didn't recognize him from our class, which means he was one of the other hidden block members. I didn't I didn't know whether I should scoff at him or ignore him, but before I could do anything, PBG held out his hands for a high five. Hey Jeff Jeff returned the gesture and the two locked into a conversation. PBG, you punched you punched <laughs> You pumped you pumped about the soccer match? Yeah, I've been waiting for this for this day all summer. Are you busy? I'm trying to get the summer team to I mean blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm trying to get the team together right now for for the last minute practice. Yen? I'm so in. I've nothing nothing to do for the rest of the day. Are my cleats still in your locker? Yep. Awesome. Let's go then. Jeff Brindley looked at me and pointed. PBG turned around, surprised I was still waiting. Oh, Anna. Sorry, I gotta go. See you in class tomorrow. I make sure to bring my thinking cap. He put on an invisible hat, then gave me a thumbs up. Oh, wait. Do you want to come to our game? It's in a few weeks and the first one of the year, so it would be cool if you came to watch us. Mostly me, because I'm the star player. <laughs> wow, thanks. Um, sure. I'll go watch. That sounds really fun. I would come. I would love to come, too. Whoa! Thanks! Thanks, that really means a lot to me. Usually the first game doesn't conjure a big, a big crowd. Can I bring Mai? She might have planned on going anyways, but she was always including me in things. I wanted you to do the same for her. Totally! Bring as many people as you want. Fill up the stands! He left with, he left with PBG and headed back to the dorms. Mai usually walked with me. It felt weird to be alone, and suddenly I realized it would, it would feel even weirder to be in the dorm alone. Not knowing what else to do, I headed for the library. Might as well get work, get started on some work. I stayed at the library much longer than I anticipated, head low over a small sheet of project ideas in a thick book. Every time I thought about leaving, panic seized me. The truth was, I still didn't know my way around the academy. My head being there to guide me, and I was more focused on the people around me than the places. As students trickled past, laughing and heading off to no doubt have tons of fun, I fiddled with my pencil. I would have had, I would have to leave eventually, though. Hesitantly, I closed my notebook and stood. Hey, Hana. Hey, Hana. How are you? Asked Gerard, <laughs> if you could tell by his voice. I rolled around. Gerard was walking past me, a thick book in one hand. One second. Is my audio all up? Yeah, it is. Okay. Gerard, hi. Um, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I laughed weakly and found myself wringing my hands together. Yeah? He clearly didn't believe a word I was saying. I sighed. I'm a bit scared to leave. I know that sounds pathetic, but I don't really know my way around here, so... Yeah, you look a bit lost. Like a lost otter. A lost otter? But hey, I haven't really gotten a chance to talk to you until now. I've been wanting to act to ask you if, you if you're settling in alright. I know that transfer students don't really get introduced to the school the same way freshmen do. Are your classes okay? How's your homework load? Do you like the food? Getting along with mine? I stuttered, unsure of which question to add, answer first. Everything's fine. Mai is great. Yeah, she showed me around the campus recently. It was very nice of her, but she wasn't very thorough. A grin slowly spread across Gerard's face as he was unwrapping a present. As if he was unwrapping a present. I can show you around if you like. Uh, I used to give tours to incoming students. If you're if you're new, you really should get a tour. Sure. 
Gerard's eyes lit up at the mere mention of Tor. I felt bad turning him down. Great! Wait, great! We can start at the boys' dorm. I need to put my books away. He laughed. He laughed and headed out to the library. I felt, I fell in, into step along with him. Has anyone told you we don't get any, get many transfers? It's been implied. I always wonder what new students think of everything right, right when they get here. I wish I could experience everything for the first time again. Was your old school like this? Not at all. It feels more like a college campus because of the dormitories. Yeah, that's true. Dang it! I missed dialogue again. Gerard nodded. I thought he wanted to say more, but there, there we were in front of the boys' dorm. He pulled open the door for me, and once again he held, he held open, he held open his hands. This is the. Put away the gun. Okay. This is Bluebell House. It's where the boys live. It's literally a carbon copy of the girls' dorm. Except the walls are blue. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Feel free to walk around, but probably don't go into any of the rooms. I'm I'm gonna go drop this off. I'll be right back. He raced back to the stairwell, then took them two at a then took them two at a time. I got the feeling he was rushing so as not to make me wait longer than I had to, and I smiled. It made me feel cared for. There wasn't much to look or look at or do while I was waiting, though. I I stepped to the side so as to not block the door and stretched out my neck, listening to the sounds of an action movie from a new room nearby. Maybe I should wait outside? I headed for the dormitory door, but when I reached to pull it open, there's Jimmy um, there's Jimmy Witzel and Cat Icarus just appeared <laughs> randomly. Um, the door swung open open by itself, and two yellow jacket men stepped into the hall. I stared up at them in shock, and they looked at me the same way. Uh, um, whoa, pink hair, that's unique. Eh, the one, the one on the right instantly called out my hair in a thick British accent. Yes, I got Kedekers' accent right. <laughs> the other, probably the youngest student I met so far, scanned me up and down. You're the girl who said it. Yeah, 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 I completely forgot Jimmy's voice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're the you're the girl who sat at the normal boots table today, aren't you? Y you could tell. Thank you. <laughs> was my presence so princess? <laughs> was my presence already so well known just by sitting at their table? I wasn't sure whether to be pleased or upset, but the men in front of me were busy talking amongst themselves. I never thought they'd entertain having a girl join them. Do you think it's because of the puzzle incident? Shane would never be uncomfortable with someone joining up just like that, though. They hardly... Shane would never be comfortable... Did I say uncomfortable? I'm sorry. <laughs> they hardly knew her. There must be some reason she sat, sat with them then. If they're planning a secret weapon, we should get back at them. Excuse me. I shouted in the middle of them, shocking even myself. I wasn't usually so loud or forward. Well, that's true. <laughs> but, well, with me and Hannah. Hannah. Okay. But the time those two were bickering gave me the gave me the impression that if I didn't stop them, they would keep going on forever. I'm right here. You can just ask me something if you're confused. Hey, you're right. So are you joining the Normal Woods Club then, or? joining? Doing the normal boots club never ever cr even crossed my mind as a possibility. All I, all I was thinking about was getting in good with them, getting on their good side so that hopefully people wouldn't mess with me. Actually joining the club? Was that even possible? And weren't they gamers or something? I had no experience with, the, with video games. I do. <laughs> there was no way I, I'd be able to join. Seeing my crestfallen face, the young member backtracked. Sorry, I... Hey, wrong voice. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Um, we're we're members of the Hidden Block Club. The Normal Boots Club is our rival in tournament, so we were just wondering. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful person. <laughs> I'm sorry, but his old intro where it's like greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. I am Ketterkus. Freaking ah okay, I'm sorry. It's just that mm, I'm literally fangirling because 
These are one of my favorite YouTubers, aside from the Minecraft YouTubers and my Markiplier. <laughs> and my friends. Anyways. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful person. I'm Ketter Cruz, and this is Jimmy Witzel. You can call me Catty for short, though. Everyone does. Most people. <laughs> Everyone. Jimmy cast a knowing lens in Caddy's direction, and Caddy grimaced. Almost everyone. Beautiful. Th thank you. Don't mind him. He tells everyone that. Because every, because everybody is a beautiful person. Ouch. Hey guys. Oh, hey guys. Gerard skipped, skidded a around the corner, panting as if as if he ran the entire way. In fact, I didn't doubt that he had. I see you met Hannah. She's a new friend of ours, so be nice to her, right? <laughs> Caddy, what? Would we ever be anything but nice? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Last year's tournament would beg to differ. That was one time, and that was only because Shane ate my pizza. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Later, guys. Anyways, I don't want to keep you. I was I was giving ha Hannah a tour of the campus since she's new here. Well, it was nice meeting you. I hope we'll, we'll see you around more. Bye. It was nice meeting you. Droid paced, paved the, paved, waved. I, ah, okay. Gerard waved the pair off as they climbed the staircase, then held the door open for me again. And we're off again. That's, that's Azalea, Azalea Art Center. There's a recording booth and lots of spare rooms for clubs to beat in. The theater is right next to it. It's where John, it's where John hel holds the drama club and all its rehearsals, rehearsals, rehearsals. I think the student council council elections are held there, and Gerard. Hmm, I'm mixing the names up. And Jared has a special event, at least once a semester, which is a, what was it, a fashion show. Last year it was a martial arts exhi exhibition, and Jared did kendo against other part practitioners in the school. He shook his head in awe. He's truly talented. Really, all of my friends are. I think I'm really lucky to have people like that around me. Oh, Jared. Frick, I'm mixing my names up again. Gerard, not Jared. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, did you have a question? N no, that's, that's all right. Great, over there you can see how I can buy a peeking in the distance. There's a field separating us. People like to eat there. Jared seemed like seemed a char che charming, cheerful, great, grateful, down to earth kind of person. He was really out going out to his. Bleh, bleh, bleh. He was going. <laughs> Frick. He was really going out of his way to help me out and be kind to me, and didn't even seem to realize what a big deal that was. I giggled. Something told me I shouldn't point it out. Despite that, I was truly thankful. It took me to the places my did did and more, describing everything and several past events in excruciating detail. It was a little much for a friendly tour, but having the names and locations of the buildings burned in, burn into my mind was a really good thing. We ended, we ended the tour back in po Poppy Hall after what seemed like hours of walking. Jared was keen on fin- Gerard was keen on finishing off the tour with the best place on the campus. Ta-da! Here it is. The morning... Morning? <laughs> the normal boots club... Club... The morn... Frick. Frick. Okay. The normal boots club... Room. Okay. <laughs> he pushed the door open and pointed. Oh my god, it's a cute little itty bitty collection of a desk. That's so cute. Okay. He pushed the door open and pointed inside. It looked like a regular room filled with desks and some kind of toys. Itty bitty kitties. It's not much, but it's home to some of my happiest memories. Oh. They shut the door again and dusted his hands. There's a little closet here people used to store things, too. He reached to turn the handle, but paused and then react retracted his hand. Was that a shutter I saw? Just a little tip. Just a little tip. Knock before you open the door to any closet on campus. Why? Oh. You know. The ghosts, I guess. Maybe <laughs> pasta. Okay. That was a strange advice, delivered strangely. That was a strange advice, delivered strangely. Drive was uncomfortable. I wasn't sure what to make of it. 
He knocked. He knocked. A few seconds later, opened the opened the door. <gasps> Creeps McFrickin' Pa- Okay, <laughs> Creeps McPasta is an Easter egg in this game. I mean, cameo in this game. But it's a really awesome cameo. <laughs> someone was in that closet. I was not expecting someone in that closet. Why was someone in the closet? <laughs> hey! Ger Gerard waved to the person, then closed the door and turning back to me. Who? Sorry if he scared you. What? Not me, but definitely Hana. <laughs> what? Anyways, that's it for the tour. How was it? He beamed. I hesitated, but seeing his eye twitch slightly, thought better than to bring it up back, <laughs> back up. It was awesome. Thank you so much. I learned a lot about the, about the school, about you and your friends. It really made me feel included. No problem. Not at all. I like, I like helping out. And I wish I had someone to show me around when I got here first. You have no idea how long it took me to find all the secret tunnels and, 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 and make a complete map of, of the, of, of campus. Secret tunnels? Yeah. Oh man, I've got to show you. Gerard glanced at the clock hanging in the wall and winced. Darn, I gotta go. I gotta get going. I have homework to do, but if you need more help, I'm here for you. He got out a notebook and scribbled something down. Then he ripped it out and gave it to me. Here. My phone number, dorm number, address, parents' phone, emails, Facebook, and Blipper. Facebook and Twitter information. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. I'll see you later, Hana. It was really it was really great spending time with you. Just like that, he was gone. I put the paper in my bag, chuckling softly to myself, then paused. I... I had to check. We were in front of the supply closet the whole time, and I, I'd fought the urge to open the door after Gerard closed it. Now I was going to see who was in there. Darkness. The light was off this time. I slid my hand across the wall, looking for the switch. I flipped it. There was no one in the closet. I froze, still as the paints and construction paper that lined the walls. He wasn't in there, and this was the only exit. Creepypasta style, I read it! Okay. <laughs> I closed the door, blinked, hot, blinked hard, and walked straight back to my dorm. Forget about it, just forget about it. Ignoring the last incident, Gerard truly went out of his way to show he was thinking about me. In fact, I got the impression he was this way for every, everyone, maybe even everything. He was thorough, very thorough, and when he, when he wanted to help you, he did everything in his power to do so. Maybe it hadn't meant much to him, but it meant a lot to me. I returned to the dorm and crawled into bed with a smile on my face, ready to take on the next day. This time, I knew I wouldn't get lost. Maya and I arrived at Poppy Hall the next morning, and it immediately became clear. Something changed. Posters drenched in nausea-inducing neon colors were plastered on the walkers. Several students gathered to take a look. Oh, my gosh. We walked over to one of the halls to get a better look. Is that... Jared? Pronounce his name right? Yes. Okay. When Mai didn't respond, I turned to look at her. The expression on her face told me that her her mind wandered somewhere that would have made a call girl blush. Mai, you're drooling. This this that seemed to jolt her out of her fantasy. She she she, li she lifted a sleeve to wipe away the drivel on her chin. I'm not. I am not. What are what are all it. What are these posters for? Well, last year Jared put on a fashion show. It looks like he's doing it again this year. I didn't know Jared was into fashion. Why shrugged. He's not. I waited for some type of care clarification. One time in biology, I saw him take off a sweater and his, and his shirt kind of got stuck to him, pulled off this, and pulled up. I swear he had like twenty abs. I what? I waited in vain. Hello, ladies. Oh no. Mine, mine and I whipped around. There stood Jared in all his glittering, magnificent glory. Maya's face turned a blushing pink. Well, 
like a red, but whatever. The most beautiful guy in school. I see you're admiring my totally sweet posters. Posters. Um, yeah, they're really something, Jared. I... I like your abs. With sudden soul-crushing realization what she said, her expression twisted into a mixture of horror and, and disgust. Jared was unfazed. Thanks, but, Hana, I was actually wanted to speak to you. Why would he wanted to talk to me? Oh, y yeah, okay, what's up? Jared looked expectantly at my... She didn't move. Realizing she was in trouble, I nudged her with my elbow, and I, as I suddenly... As I said, wait, as suddenly as I could. My, uh, would you get me a soda? I'm really thirsty. Without a word, my scuttled away. Jared turned back to me, a cool glint in his eyes. He seemed used to the effect he had on women. Women. I wanted to talk to you about the fashion show, actually. You're new here and all, so you probably don't know it. But... Every year, I like to put on a little fashion show to showcase my modeling skills. Wait, what? You know, just to make sure people don't forget what I'm capable of. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a stack of glossy photos and thrust them into my hands. I stared down at them in awe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're so funny. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't show it to you, but... <laughs> I'm sorry I can't show it to you because reasons, <laughs> but they are funny as buck. <laughs> I flipped through them, starting to notice a pattern. As you can tell, my beauty is something that simply can't go to waste. I like to hold a fashion show here at Asaga Asagawa Academy to ensure everyone gets their yearly dose of pro Jared. I flipped to the last photo. Heat shot up my neck and into my ears. Surely this was some kind of joke. I shoved the stack of photos back at him, wiping my sweaty palms against my skirt. What does this have to do with me? Ah, uh, that, uh, that might have been a touch rude. Jared, as smooth as ever, simply smiled. I think you have potential, Hana. He suddenly leaned in close to me, so close in fact that I could smell his cologne, a musky sweet aroma of earthy scents and... Ham? Potential for what exactly? She's okay. Jared shifted his mouth so close to my ear I could feel his heat. Oh jeez. <laughs> for greatness. <laughs> he reached into his shirt pocket and retrieved a small slip of paper. With quivering hands, I accepted it. My card. My my number is on the bottom. If you if you're ever interested, I could teach you a thing or two about modeling. I stared down at at the card in in my hand, feeling that if. I looked away, it would disappear. But by the time I gathered the courage to face him again, Jared was gone. Feeling quite dizzy, I headed for class and the business card strangled <laughs> the business card strangled to death in my white knuckled hand. By the time I got through the my milling students to the classroom, Maya was sitting at her desk, face down and completely still. I took my seat and twisted around to poke the de dejected my shaped heap. She didn't budge. My. My. I heard a muffled groan of despair. I'm such a social disaster. No, you're not. I tried to sound comforting, but I I was never good at this sort of thing. My finally lifted her head from her desk. What's that? She motioned to the business card that was still in my hand. I said it in front of her. Maya praised it for a long time with a blank face as if I set a rare artifact in front of her that she didn't actually believe was real. Then her eyebrows pulled together. He gave you his number? Well. <laughs> My voice. <laughs> well, yeah, sort of. I mean, not really. He said I should call him if I want, I want him to teach me how to model like him. I was in it was embarrassing to even say, and the words felt awkward in my mouth. The moment I said them out loud, I wish I could grab them back and swallow them. I expected Mai to give me a once-over before making an off-the-cuff comment about how I wasn't nearly pretty enough to be a model. But she didn't. Yeah. He, like, totally wants to get with you. Her tone was so matter-of-fact, I, I gaped. What? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Why, why would you say that? Bingo. 
<laughs> okay, Hana. I've taken enough sex ed classes to know when a when a guy fully wants you, and Jared like fully wants you. Freaking Maya's enduring mind. <laughs> Mortified, I snatched the business card back of off her desk and shoved it into my jacket pocket. Yeah, this is basically my reaction. It's like, what the frick is wrong with you, Mai? <laughs> Turning away, my cheeks felt like they were on fire. By now, the classroom was filled with students. They chattered amongst the themselves, but the white noise of their conversations wasn't, al wasn't loud enough to drown Mai out. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see John and PBG seated in their desks at the back, at the back of the classroom. I'm talking serious grabby hands in the back of his dad's Camaro here. You're going to make babies with P pro Jared, Hana. Little, glittering, Jared babies. No, I'm not! You're totally crazy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Stuttering means you're blushing, Hana. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end it off here, because last time I took so many freaking, cl like, two videos. Three to two videos, cliffhangers. I need to stop that. <laughs> so basically, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try for speed with you. I said that wrong again. <laughs> I'm gonna try for speed with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And I really like this so far because it's so funny. <laughs>